doing? Thank you, guys. Uh, first, I just want to thank this organization uh, for taking a chance on me, the Ford family for taking a chance on me. Uh, such a blessing to be here. And I'm ready to go to work for you guys. Manuel, uh, just catch us up on the, the rehab, uh, ACL week five. How's, yeah. how's it going, and where do you think, uh, you know, when you be full go? Uh, I would definitely say it's going well. Uh, I've been putting in a lot of work. Uh, I'm about five months out now. Uh, we got a lot of time between training camp. Uh, so I'm going to continue to do that, and then when it's time for me to get out there and go, I'll go. Do you want to do any OTA spring stuff or just kind of training camp? As the uh, I think I'm going to be around. I'm definitely going to be around the guys, uh, helping as much as I can, being there, uh, watching film with the guys, on the field with the guys, as much as I can to be the leader that I know I can be uh, around this building. For us well, who maybe you know, aren't familiar with your game, just kind of maybe describe yourself stylistically, what, what style, corner, what's your, you know, your strengths as a player? Yeah, uh, I'd probably say I'm a very physical corner. Uh, I may not look it, you know what I mean, all the time, but I'm a very physical corner. I love coming up and tackle, uh, love being up in front of people's faces, uh, getting my hands on people, uh, and play off coverage, smart corner, confidence corner, uh, and like you say, just, just pretty much a leader. Uh, so that's pretty much my game. Obviously, the, uh, fixing the secondary cornerback position was a focus of this this, uh, this regime so far. You know, Cam, uh, yeah. obviously. So, what, what do you, you know, collectively, what do you, what do you think you add to the mix? Uh, I think the uh, secondary group before us uh, was really, really good. You know, and us coming in, like you say, we're just going to uh, be leaders of the group. You know, um, coach as much as uh, we can, learn from them, learn from things they do well. They're gonna learn from us things we do well, and uh, most of all, we're just gonna compete in that room. You know, competition makes things better. And uh, that's how I learned. That's how I always got better. Uh, so I know with Cam uh, from college, he was always smart. He was always smart, always uh, physical, you know, helping me with my game. So I'm ready to continue to learn from him, but also can teach him things I can do and just bring that into the group. And I think that would be great. Relationship that you guys had from back then and still have now. Man, you know, uh, coming out of uh, high school, I remember the day I was driving up to Tennessee or riding. I wasn't driving. I was going with my, uh, my mom and my dad. And I get to Tennessee, and there's a guy that walks out. And he's like, hey, I'm going to be your host for the day. And it was Cam Sutton. And let alone, uh, you know, years later, full circle, we were playing with each other, you know. So that's pretty cool. Uh, he was on one side. I was on one side. Uh, so like I say, I always learn from him. He's learned from me. And he's always been that big brother to me. And pretty sure he's going to do the same thing here. What's your recruiting visit that is? Yeah, mm -hmm. he was my host, yeah. What's your impressions of Coach Campbell? Oh, uh, fiery, man. I, I just love the energy, you know, because that's, that's how I am. Like, I'm a mellow guy, you know, but on the field, I, I, I believe that I'm a fiery guy. Like, I, I love the energy that he brings. Uh, I just see the passion that he coaches with. And when his guys make plays, he's out there yelling with them on the field. I, I love that, and I just can't wait to uh, be playing underneath that. Why do you feel like this opportunity is the best fit for you right now at this point in your career? Yeah, well, you know, uh, like I said, they took a chance on me, signing me here, coming off this knee injury. But I know what type of player I can be. Uh, I see the direction that the program is going in. You know, I used to watch the games, uh, just being a football player, watching the games. You, you can see that they're transcending in the right way, you know. So why not be a part of that? How often are you ready for the start of the season? Uh, like I say, uh, I just got to go through my rehab and uh, get with Brad, Fish, uh, Brad Fisher, you know, the rehab group and the coaching staff come up with a plan. and. Once we do that, whenever I'm ready, I'll be out there. And you're uh, a little bit, I think, undrafted, if I yeah. remember right, right? So just to kind of, yeah. I know you went to free agency before I got paid you know, from San Francisco before. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's definitely been a journey. A journey. Uh, it's been a blessing, to be honest. Uh, came in undrafted. You know, uh, San Fran took a chance on me. Uh, appreciate them for giving me the opportunity. Uh, got a chance to work with Sherm out there. Some of the great cornerbacks, uh, guys like Jason Verrett, you know, um, uh, Mooney, you know, learned things from those guys, and uh, they really inspired me in, in my game. Um, you know, it hasn't been easy, like the journey, because you're starting from the bottom and uh, nobody's counting on you. But it's just amazing when you can continue to prove people wrong, continue to do the things that you know that you can do uh, to, to get to uh, points like this in your life. valuable was the experience with, with Richard. Um, mm -hmm. You just, you know, really known as a guy that likes to take guys under his wing and bring them along, get three seasons with him. How, how important was he to your early career? Man, I think it was very, very important because uh, when I got my first start, you know, he was able to come sit me down and say, e, this is just a football game. You know, he said, don't make it too big. Don't make it too small. It's just a football game. You're more than capable of playing on this level. 
you know, and at that time, like, of course, I think that mentally, you know what I mean? That's, that's just me. But when I went out there and did it, I really sat there and thanked him because I'm like, bro, you don't know how much you played a part of that. Uh, and then just watching him be a leader in the room, uh, it just showed me of things that I know that I can do and things that I hope to implement here. The opportunity to play under Coach Ryan the last couple of years, uh, obviously got the opportunity in Texas, but, uh, you know, I think people like playing for ex-players. Uh, you're coming into a situation now with, sure. with AG and mm -hmm. uh, Dre Bly in the secondary, I mean, two guys that played your position. You know, how valuable do you think that will be to your continued yeah, development? I, I think it's very valuable because, like, it's one, it's one thing doing X and O's, but it's also something when someone's been out there on the field, when you can really talk to them, they can understand the same language and understand what you're seeing out there on the field. I, I think that'd be, it, it, that'd really help uh, the room out, and that'd definitely help me out for sure. Just seeing so you know, the wide receivers alliance have Amon Ra, Jameson, Alexander, you test your skills up against them when time's right? Of course. You know, and I would hope that's the same answer they're going to say, too. Like you say, competition makes the best. You know, we're going to compete. And uh, so when we go out there versus other teams, it's going to be cool. It's a little off topic, and I'll give credit to Colton here, but you, uh, <coughs> you and Hendon Hooker, four yeah. team quarterbacks together. Is that yeah. Right? Can you just share some you know, reflections on him? Yeah, dude, it's, it's crazy, man. Because uh, I'm going to bring you to another guy, too. But yeah, Hendon Hooker, so I was quarterback there. And he was my backup quarterback, which is crazy, you know. So then he went to Virginia Tech. And once he went to Virginia Tech, he didn't play much. And then he started playing. And I think he had maybe a few issues that he uh, overcame. And then he went to Tennessee. I used to tell the Tennessee coaches, I said, hey, listen, that's a guy you guys need to go get, you know. So when he got his opportunity to come to Tennessee, it was just, it was just amazing. Uh, he's a good guy, man. Uh, definitely my little brother, you know. And I hope that he's healing well and whatever team picks him, you know. He'll do well in. Should you be a quarterback right you know, now? I, you know, I only played – I didn't play corner until I was going to college. Yeah, I only played quarterback growing up. So I really wanted to play quarterback if you ask me. Uh, you know, I still think I can go out there and play quarterback sometimes. <laughs> you know, but there's another guy here. Um, I think they just signed him. His name is Mac McCain. Uh, so he went to the same high school I went to as well. Like, play the same – you know, it's just crazy, man. So it's just full circle, you know. I feel like I'm around family, you know, and I can't wait to meet the other guys and just just really build a culture and just be be a tight family. Mac too, or was he too young? Yeah, I think Mac was like two years younger than me, so he might have been maybe on the JV when I was on varsity. But just his story is crazy too. Just going to you know North Carolina A and T, making it out of there, and just doing what he's doing. You know, my senior year we did not lose a game. We won the state championship, you know, and that was a pretty cool experience. You did any college looks as a quarterback? Uh, a &T. Yeah, the A&T wanted me to do it, but when Tennessee came, I, that's hard to beat, you know, SEC, so I had to go take that. So you ran a lot of, were you like an option quarterback? Or what, what were you like as a quarterback? You know, I try not to say I was an option quarterback mm -hmm. because I had an arm. You know, I could really throw the ball for real, for real, but I did run a lot, and I think that's why – a lot of coaches came to me and told me I play DB. Does the GM know you turned down A and T? That's his yeah. motto. Uh, you know what? Just delete that. <laughs> Just delete that. You know, I did go to A and T Middle College, so you know I was on the campus uh, when I was in high school. So. Was the Aaliyah shirt intentional? Knowing their ties to Detroit, I didn't. To be honest, I didn't even notice, man. I was in the store one day and I saw this shirt. You know, I'm an old soul, so I like a lot of old school uh, singers and stuff like that. So I just saw the shirt and I was like, I'm going I'm to rock that. You know? All good? Cool. Thank, Thank you, man. Thank you guys, man.